Hi, I'm Mike, owner of the InGroove in Phoenix, Arizona. We're a brick and mortar record retail store, and today I'm gonna to go over this week's new arrivals. This is for December 11th, 2020. There is a lot of killer stuff here this week, a lot of audio file reissues. And I'm gonna start with the absolute biggest no news. Uh, Mobile Fidelity is reissuing Kinda Blue, or not reissuing, it's getting a repress. It's gonna be back in stock. I've got it online at the website, www.theingroove.com available for pre-order. I don't actually get my shipment in for about another week, but they'll be sold out before that week comes. So if you want Kinda Blue, top 10 imprint jazz records you should own in the video, you should get a pre-order in. Three weeks ago, it was $200. If you look at sold listings on eBay, it was 200 bucks for the past couple of months. Back in stock, normal $59.99. A record you should really, really own if you a are a jazz fan or a marginal jazz fan. It's also the winner of the shootout I did of Kind of Blue years ago. So yeah, Mobile Fidelity Kind of Blue pre-order on the website. Unfortunately, some bad news. The Sade box set many of you have pre-ordered has been delayed until February. The label is citing manufacturing issues uh, and they're not really giving any more news other than that. That box set has been wildly popular. My best guess is that thing is not even going to make when it does come in February. It's If you don't have it on pre-order, you're probably gonna have to wait until it drops the second or third time. There is humongous demand for that title. Uh, Pre-orders, there's three tone poets coming out January 29th. Uh, there's a Lee Morgan, there is a Paul Chambers, and the third title is... I didn't write it down. It's a double. Uh, I think it's a Pat Metheny album. Uh, check it out. They're all on the front page of the website. Also, Mobile Fidelity announced a new One Step. The Blood, Sweat, and Tears pre-order is up on the website. That's not even going to come out till next year. I'm hearing that the Stevie Ray Vaughan is going to be the end of this month or the beginning of January. Blood, Sweat, and Tears will follow that. But that is available for pre-order on the website. Okay, some of the hot restocks that did come in from the top 10 imprint analog records you should own, the Dire Straits Love Over Gold. Okay, these have been out for a while. B-52s, first two albums are on the Silver Series, Mobile Fidelity titles, which is kind of their budget series. But this and Wild Planet sound absolutely fantastic. Got Cosmic Thing in as well, Mobile Fidelity. And they did Upstairs at Eric's, yes. All back in print. Also really, really hot, back in print, Morrison Hotels. This is uh, the Analog Productions 45 RPM. LA Woman is on my top 10 in print analog records you should own. Morrison Hotel sounds fantastic as well. Also, Strange Days is now back in stock. I think I've got LA Woman still and Waiting for the Sun still on the website. We had the sell title, but that sold out before the video. So, kind of SOL on that. It was a limited amount I got. I added this recently to the top, 10 imprint, uh, top 100 imprint analog records you should own. The Royal Ballet. An iconic classical record, the most expensive classical record ever to come out of the United States. A regular original pressing of this is like a $5,000 record. This is an excellent, excellent recording, iconic recording, and great around the holidays. Back in stock, Buena Vista Social Club. This is all analog, cut from the master tapes by Bernie Grunman. Okay. Couple of sub pops. Is this Jay Mascus? Couple titles from sub pops. Sub pop. The Mets. This is the loser edition, which is their colored vinyl first pressings. Let's see. Clipping. Visions of bodies. Here is another colored vinyl version of Loma. 
L7. This is a reissue. Friday night in San Francisco. Fantastic record, all analog by Impex. Great guitar trio. Unbelievably good recording. This is the 45 RPM version of this is on the top 10 jazz records imprint. You should own this sounds fantastic as well. Really, really good. Another restock from in, uh, Impex, Ellington, Indigos, fantastic sounding record. And long awaited back in stock finally, and this has been out for a while. Famous Blue Raincoat by Jennifer Warrens. Okay, so finally got in the Half Speed Masters Bob Marley titles. These are all Half Speed Mastered at Abbey Road. So I'll just kind of roll through that. You've got Burning, Survival, Confrontation, right? Exodus. What is this, Babylon Bus? This is a double. Catch a Fire. Kaya. And what else we got here? Live. And Legend. One of my wife's favorite albums, Uprising. And Natty Dread. Okay, so Elton just reissued, not re, he just did three essentially box sets. So this is a double, and they all kind of have a theme. So this is, and this is me, this is a double. This is rarities and B-sides. This is a triple. And then you've got, it's weird, they kind of did a normal gatefold, they did a more deluxe trifold. And then on deep cuts, they did a straight full blown hardback book box set. So this is a 4LP. This is actually 31 of his tr tracks chose by him. And, you know, I've seen Elton John in concert maybe 17, 18 times more than any other artist. And I dig this. This is his deep stuff. When he plays it live, you know, you can only hear Crocodile Rock so many times. But some of this stuff is some of the best stuff I've ever heard live. Ticking, you know, uh... Some, some good stuff on this. All right, so a couple of music on vinyl. Peter Tosh, Bush Doctor. This is limited to 2000 on red vinyl. Craftwork, Soas Live. These are hand numbered. I don't know what they're numbered to. All of these copies that I got seem to be right around the thousand range. Let's see, colored vinyl, look to be quite limited. Houdini Escape, this is a music on vinyl, number two, 1000. This is a colored vinyl. Kurderbin, Late Night Tales, another number to 4000. This is on yellow vinyl, super limited. This is already sold out and out of print. Okay, new tone poet came this week, McCoy Tyner's Tender Moments. This is weird. So this is actually from Rocktober. This is the love mono forever changes. This came and went and this was the tail end of my order. They just sent it to me. IPA Boogie. This is looking like it's some Afro Psych. 
mastered from the original tapes, which is not common for an Afro Psycho. This is pressed on white vinyl. What the hell is this? Amarantha? Yeah, I got no idea. Name of the album's Manifest. Limited to a thousand. Swedish Modern Metal Heroes. What do we got here? Laura Jane Grace. Stay Alive. I like the hype sticker. It's a little match, back of a matchbook. This is actually something that most people look at this and laugh, but this stuff needs to be in print. I cannot keep any used Jim Croce albums in the store at all. So this is a solid title definitely for me to have back in the store. They did a couple of them. Bob Marley, Soul Rebels. This is uh, on green vinyl. New Mumford & Sons EP. Delta Tour. TP Orchestra Polyrhythmo. Another mastered acid jazz mastered from the original master tapes. Sounds super, super good, but not familiar with it. M. Ward. Thinking of Spring. This is on orange vinyl. This is actually a really solid comp from Music on Vinyl. They did 2,500 of them. It's a triple disc compilation of the animals. A ton of great stuff on here. It's called The Complete Animals. This is actually really good. I got this uh, back in stock. I showed this last week. These are numbered to 3,000. Alanis Morissette, live at Montro. This is, I listened to this last week. This was really, really good. Okay, so for Record Store Day, Black Friday, finally came this week, Herbie Hancock's Trio. This is a really solid Japanese release, Herbie. That's not, but it resembles the original Japanese release. Coheed and Cambria, No World for Tomorrow. This is a limited edition... Etched on the fourth side. All right. Night Ranger. This is on, I show these periodically. This particular label, they only did a thousand of them. This is kind of like a one shot deal. They'll do one, super limited. You don't ever see it again. King Gizzard and the Wizard Lizard, KG, Volume 2. Comes in kind of the old, the brown cardboard, similar to the original in through the outdoor. This is like, I'm showing this, but chances are, when I sh you see this video, it won't even be around. This is the Sturgill Simpson Indie Exclusive. This is one of the most heavily allocated titles I have ever ordered. I ordered... Boxes and boxes and boxes full of these things, and I got four. I mean, it's unbelievable. This is the Indie Exclusive on colored vinyl. Oddly enough, the standard black vinyl, they never even shipped that. So hopefully we get a decent amount of those in the future. John Prine Live. This is on yellow double vinyl. That is a hard album to get the original of. Dr. John, Music on Vinyl. This is number to a thousand. Looking forward to this. Stevie Nicks. This is live in concert at the 24 Karat Gold Tour. It's essentially just doing, she's doing all her hits uh, live. Real nice packaging. I mean, I really dig the gold lettering. Looks solid. From Music on Vinyl, there's 2,000 of these. Government Mule, Life Before Insanity. What color of vinyl is this? Let's see. Green and black swirled vinyl. Built to Spill. 
U in reverse. This is number two, 1500 on translucent vinyl. Corn, the path of totality. This is music on vinyl. Looks like it's just back in print, maybe. This is not an exclusive colored or limited pressing. The Grateful Dead. Working Man's Dead. This is the picture disc that is number two, 10,000, or limited to 10,000 by Rhino, not numbered. Zach Sabbath. Vertigo. Molly Hatchet. Ju Jukebox Saloon on blue vinyl. Some more of the bad companies live at Wembley. Showed these last week, just got the rest of the order in. Again, something else I showed last week. Cat Stevens, T for the Tillerman. Deep Purple, Total Abandon, Australia 99. Showed this last week, sold out pretty quick. Ooh, this is pretty nice. I wish I showed this a little sooner. I haven't heard this yet, but this looks like a Killer title. This is even nicer than I expected it to be. Uh, Frank Sinatra, Sing and Dance with Frank. This originally came out as a 10 inch on Columbia, but they've turned it into a nice fat gatefold. There's a big book inside, uh, and there's a quite a bit of alternate bonus tracks. So alternate takes, bonus tracks, it looks like some session stuff. A couple things previously unreleased. So by Impact, phenomenal label they don't do much but yeah toto live in amsterdam this is something i showed you guys last week these are numbered to 3000 that was essentially just the rest of my order and last muse simulation theory film deluxe edition this was another title that was super heavily allocated there is nothing to fear this is actually it looks like a resealable metal metal uh, metal cover bag so you've got the lp on color vinyl blu-ray a marvel poster a marvel comic book and a film score audio cassette it also looks like dts hd master audio 5.1 but yeah that's it again all this stuff can be purchased online at our website at www.theingroup.com don't forget to check out the website, subscribe to the channel. Until next time.